Have you ever spent hours staring at a blank slide trying to make a presentation that doesn't look boring? You research, you write, you design, but it's still terrible and you know it could be better. But updating slides is slow, painful, and draining. Now with free AI tools, you can actually create a stunning story-driven PowerPoint presentation in five minutes, not using paid apps, just using one single free AI tool. Today, I'm going to show you exactly how I use Notebook LM to create these stunning PowerPoint slides. You can see the design is super clean, super modern, and it was really simple to create these slides. And the best part, AI does the heavy lifting of research, outlining, and ideation so you can focus on the creative storytelling that hooks people. You no longer have to start from scratch. So stick around because in the next few minutes, I'm breaking down the three-step Notebook LM prompt framework that changes everything. Let's get into it. But first, my name's Sabrina Romanov. I previously built and sold an AI company for millions of dollars, and now I teach millions of people people AI for free. So make sure you hit like, subscribe, and drop comments and questions below. Google Notebook LM is still the best underrated free AI tool. So what we're going to do is navigate to notebooklm.google. You're going to click try Notebook LM to sign up for your account. And you can sign up completely for free. Just use a personal Gmail account. Once you're in, it will look like this. You're going to click create new notebook. You can think of notebook as like a workspace where you're going to add a bunch of information. And, th and then we're going to generate your your PowerPoint slides from that information. So go ahead and click create new notebook. First, you're going to upload sources. Think of sources as the information that Notebook LM is going to use to craft your PowerPoint presentation. For this example, let's add one of my YouTube videos, how to get ahead of 99% of people with AI. You can add any YouTube video here or a website or something from Google Drive, or you can paste in text. Go ahead and click YouTube and then paste in this YouTube URL or any other YouTube URL you want to use as a source. Click inserts and then Notebook LM is going to analyze that YouTube video and we're going to be able to create a slide deck from this YouTube video. You can add additional sources here by clicking plus add sources. You can even search the web for new sources to add. So now I'm going to walk you through a three step series of prompts. The first one is if you're a beginner brand new to AI, the intermediate prompt will look a little bit more complex with more details in the instructions and the advanced prompt is pretty long, pretty detailed, but highly customizable and pretty awesome. So here's the first prompt that we're going to use. This is the beginner prompt. You are a top 0.1% PowerPoint presentation designer using only the provided sources. Create a visually stunning viral slide deck by following these design principles. Visuals first, one main idea per slide, minimal text, and here's the theme. So what you're going to do is copy and paste this, and we're going to go ahead and create a slide deck on the right-hand side. So look for the slide deck button. Click the the pencil icon, you're going to see options for your slide deck. You can leave it as detailed deck. Uh, in order to generate it faster, I'm going to make a shorter deck instead of the default length. And then here where it says describe the slide deck you want to create, this is where you are going to paste this information. You can also include an outline of the content you want in the slide deck if you already know how you want it to be laid out. Here. But this is optional. So go ahead and click Generate. And now Notebook LM will work on our very first slide deck using our beginner prompt. And what it's going to do is it's going to analyze all of the sources that you add here on the left hand side. We've only added one YouTube video, but you could add multiple YouTube videos. You can mix it up with a YouTube video and websites and an audio file. You can add many, many sources here. And again, Notebook LM will extract information from those sources to generate your slide deck. Now, it'll take a couple minutes each time to generate a new slide deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the intermediate level prompt as well as the advanced level prompt. And we're going to start those slide decks generating already. And then at the end, we'll see the results of the beginner versus intermediate versus advanced level prompt. By the way, you can copy paste these prompts by going to my newsletter. I'll put the link in the video description, but you can copy paste it directly from there. I'll also zoom out so that you can take a screenshot of the prompt and just drop it into chat. GPT to type out the text. So here's the intermediate level prompt. And you can see it contains much more guidelines and details around what visuals you should use, particularly one strong visual metaphor for each slide, and also the content structure. Like how do we want to structure the main narrative and story arc for the PowerPoint presentation? So all you have to do, similar to before, is copy paste this prompt. Okay, let's go back to Notebook LM. You can see it's still generating that first slide deck. It takes a couple minutes per slide deck to generate, but we can go ahead 
ahead and start a new one. So click that pencil icon again. Let's click short again, okay? And then here, describe the slide deck you want to create, okay? And just like before, if you know roughly what you want in your content, you can add an outline here if you wanted to follow a very specific path, okay? But you don't have to do that. So this will already think about a narrative arc and create an outline automatically. So go ahead and click generate, and this will be our intermediate level prompt. So now we have the first one generating beginner level, second one generating intermediate level. Here's the advanced prompt. I mean, it's advanced because it has a lot more viral visual layouts to choose from. It has safety rules at the bottom that help reduce hallucinations. And it also has explicit theme and typography guidelines, which you can customize to fit your brand or company's theme. And this advanced prompt builds upon the intermediate version. So you can see it's structured similarly with visuals and content structure, but now it has even more stuff. Okay. So let me just walk through each section real quick. So this is the same. You're a top PowerPoint presentation designer in the world. For each slide, we want a strong visual metaphor based on the source material. We want to convert data into clean, elegant visualizations with a cohesive color scheme. And every slide must use a proven viral layout. So this is containing even more examples than the intermediate level prompt. Similarly, for content structure, we want a compelling start, the context, the central concept, key components, etc. Typography and theme, this just makes it explicit what typography rules you want to set and also what theme you want to use. The default here is pretty clean and minimal for social media sharing, but you can definitely customize this to fit your brand colors, accent colors, and highlights. And then these safety rules at the bottom instruct Notebook LM to reference only concepts explicitly present in the sources and don't introduce like all these other things that are not present in the sources. What this does is it helps reduce hallucinations. It basically instructs Notebook LM to only use the information that you add in these sources when generating the slide deck. So what you're going to do is go ahead and copy all this, okay? And then click that slide deck edit button again. Let's click short for length and then let's create the slide deck here and then click generate. So now we have all three variations being generated. We have the beginner level prompt, the intermediate level prompts, and the advanced level prompts. Okay, now all three prompts are done running. By the way, I decided to share this notebook. Okay, so if you actually just go to this link right here, this will actually take you to the notebook where you can copy paste the prompts directly and see the sample slide decks that were produced. So here we see all three done, beginner, intermediate, advanced. Let's open up the beginner prompt first. All you have to do is click on this and it's going to open a preview here. Let me just talk through the options at the top. So if you want to rename it, just click here and then you can rename it. If you want to share it, click here. If you want to show the prompt that was used, okay, this is the beginner prompt. You can copy it directly from here. If you want to download it as a PDF, it's going to download it locally onto your computer. If you want to start the slideshow, this will open a full view so that you can present, okay? And then you can also expand the viewer. So I like this view a lot so I can see what each slide is and also see the upcoming slides. So now let's talk about the slide deck it generated. I do like that there's one major visual metaphor for each slide, but looking at this with a design eye, the design is like not as consistent throughout the slides. For example, this type of graphic is very different from this type of like flat graphic. It's definitely a good starting point fun to go through, but there's something quite not jiving in terms of the design. Like it could be a little bit more polished, but this is the beginner prompt, right? So if you're new to AI, if you're new to Notebook LM, just stick with this beginner prompt and you can always tweak it as follows. So go here, click show prompt. You can copy this and make tweaks as needed. Okay. Now let's check out the intermediate prompt and see how that did. Okay. So let's open that. Oh, and you can see here, just the design is at least consistent throughout the entire slide deck. And it's a pretty cool highlighted theme. So click show prompt again, and you can see the intermediate theme that we used here. Let's go expand this in the viewer. Okay. So this looks really neat. I really like how everything is visually consistent. Um, this looks like it's just a really, really nice slide deck, right? Um, but you may have noticed we didn't actually specify that we wanted the theme or design like this. So depending on your use case, this may or may not fit the presentation requirements or your 
brand or company guidelines. So how do we get a presentation like this that's visually consistent, has a cool accent color and stuff, but it's actually meshes well with your brand guidelines. And also for social media sharing, oftentimes simpler colors and less detailed graphics work well for social media sharing. So if you want a different style, how do you tweak the prompt? So that's where the advanced prompt comes in. But this is already really cool, right? Much better than the initial beginner prompt. Okay, so now let's take a look at the advanced prompts. Okay, boom, and let me click expand the viewer. And now you can see this style is totally different. This is really optimized for social media sharing and story-driven presentations where the wow is not necessarily the visual of the PowerPoint. You really want the wow to be concentrated on the core idea that you are communicating. If we look at the prompt, click show prompt here and you scroll down. If you look at theme, over here, as well as typography. This is really using best practices for story-driven PowerPoint presentation, a very modern minimal type theme where we only have one accent color, either blue or orange on each slide. And of course, you can totally customize this. I'm just giving you an example of all different styles you can achieve. I really like the strong visual components and the clean, clean design for each slide. These prompts are designed to help you make really visually stunning presentations. If you already have an outline of the exact slide title and contents you want on each slide, then all you have to do is copy one of these prompts and then add the outline as well. So you can add your outline and then copy the prompt below it in order to give visual guidelines and structure to the deck. And remember, I'm sharing this notebook. It's publicly available. So here is the URL. One important thing to remember here is that viral presentations are not necessarily visually loud. They are intellectually loud, saying something new, interesting, or emotionally compelling. And so use AI to help you share your story and unique perspective. The point of this exercise is to be able to make visually stunning, compelling presentations so that you can focus the majority of your time and effort on the content and storytelling. If you like this video, hit like, hit subscribe, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you.